time to get serious. Back in business. I got this. This will be a fun one for sure. Time to settle the score. Harada-san, I would love if you put Tifa Lockhart from the Final Fantasy VII series into Tekken 8. I think Tifa is the most universally loved, most wanted Tekken guest character that people would love to have in the Tekken series. This is not just recency bias or anything like that. Tifa has been my favorite character, or at least one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters since the beginning of me gaming. Heck, it was on the first PlayStation games I played along with Crash Bandicoot and Tekken 3. Yes, I started with Tekken 3 and went backwards because my granddad was lit. But you probably want some data on why you're saying this. Back in 2013, Square Enix posted the results of a poll for fans' favorite female character from the company's Final Fantasy franchise. This poll was held on Square Enix 25th Anniversary Commemoration Forms. We found out that Tifa was spotted to be the number 4th most loved Lady Final Fantasy character of all time, and this was held back in 2013. You might be asking using this logic, there are 3 other better characters based on popularity they can add. However, the only other one I think that would be cool or could work for Tekken could be Lightning from Final Fantasy XIII. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm cool with that. But I mean, yeah, any character can work with creativity, time, and passion. At the same time, without the success of Final Fantasy VII and what it did for JRPGs and gaming in general, we might not even got a Final Fantasy X or even a Final Fantasy XIII. He's out of line. Tifa's inclusion in Tekken will be like Sakura adding Cloud into Smash for many people. I've always disliked how with huge crossovers in fighting games, lady or woman never get included much or they just lack representation because most of the game industry for years, the protagonists are all male and men. Now I may be completely wrong on this, but I think for decades plus, the only successful lady protagonist was Lara Croft from Tomb Raider and Samus from the Metroid series pre-2010. Many may have had one hit, but may have disappeared or resulted in side characters in other games not slandering the other games, and just how the industry was. The only other two characters I can think of besides that that people really loved and really talked about a lot was Chung Li and then Tifa. And let's not talk about how Tifa's an Italian icon right now. If you want a more modern perspective, Tifa was number one in IGN's popularity poll for the best Final Fantasy Party member ever. Yes, I don't need to see comments going, oh, 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 we listen to IGN now? No, bro, that's not the point. And regardless, if you feel like that is, love or hate IGN, they are one of the biggest media outlets in the planet, on the world, bro. So if you think Tifa isn't relevant enough for Tekken 8, I think you might just be wrong at this point. Also, I have a huge theory that Tekken 8 will get close to releasing in March 2024. I'll go deeper into this in the future, so hit the subscribe button and like for more Final Fantasy, Square Enix, fighting game content. But hey, wait, 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 wait. But isn't Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, aka Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, supposed to drop in winter 2023? Both the games are slated and rumored to drop around the same time, at least somewhere in the same fiscal period. Tifa would be a perfect launch character for Tekken 8. However, I think Tekken 8 was in development already for two to three years, so the character roster was probably decided for the base roster at this point, or we just don't know. Number one, her design. Yes, I love Tifa Lockhart's design, and plus she has the best costume palette you can have for a guest character, man. I ain't no programmer, but you ain't gotta deal with a lot of colors besides white, black, and maybe red and a little gray here and there. If they have slots like Tekken 7, I will love the 7 Remake design, the City of NT design, and Avon Children. Not gonna lie, I'll probably pay like $3 for the Avon Children. You can, you can run my pocket, I'm an Avon Children shield. Listen man, I ain't a programmer, but wouldn't it just be easy to just, I don't know what I'm talking about right here to be honest. I just tried to hit y'all with a filler arc in the middle of a wishlist video. Number two, Tifa's already a natural fighter in Final Fantasy. There's a whole thread of Tifa martial arts style being very akin to Muay Thai. The last character Tekken introduced with Muay Thai was Fakuram back in 2019, I believe at the Tekken World Tour Finals. However, Tifa has a more anime version of it and it would be dope to have overall and they would do some lot of cool stuff with Tifa anyway. Also, if you can add Noctis to Tekken with all those different weapons, I think Tifa might be even easier to include and probably less stressful 
designing this character. And who wouldn't love to see Dolphin uppercuts and Tekken 8 and Unreal Engine 5? You know what? I, I can see why y'all probably scared for, for, for Dolphins. Harada did talk about back in 2018 how Noctis got into Tekken 7. I'm going to paraphrase this from the video, but the video will be in the description down below. Harada stated, Final Fantasy XV's impact was noticed on how huge the scale was in Western territories, and the dream has been a thing since the PS1 era. Final Fantasy XV, as May of 2022, has currently reached over 10 million plus sales worldwide, while Final Fantasy VII has reached a total of 14.10 million sales worldwide, and based on my search of this data, this is not including Final Fantasy VII Remake yet. And if we include Final Fantasy VII Remake, that game currently has sold 5 million sales worldwide. So I think it's safe to say Final Fantasy VII popularity will be around forever for the rest of time and the impact of the industry as well. I brought up the point earlier that this would be smart to do this around Rebirth's time. However, so far we know Final Fantasy VII Remake series is supposed to be a trilogy of games and we still don't even got the release date for that. So that probably ain't for another two to three years. It would be smart to do this now at the peak of Final Fantasy VII Remake with Tifa. So, that being said, I think Tifa definitely deserves to be in Tekken 8. Including the arcade version of Tekken 7. Tekken 7 has been around for almost 9 years. Almost hella a decade at this point. There are so many different people want different collabs and to be honest with you, Tekken can do anything if they really want to set their minds to it. Right now, they're one of the most popular fighting games in the world and I think a lot of people would love to be a part of Tekken if it fits well and it translates. Heck, I even remember when they put Negan from The Walking Dead in Tekken 7. Like, that's crazy. We all know Tekken loves to collaborate with various different Western audiences, things of that nature. I'ma just say it right now, I hate The Last of Us, I hate it a lot, but I'ma be real with you. I can even laugh and probably see Ellie or Joel in the game at one point. <laughs> Alright, let's not wish that into existence. But you get the point still stands. I definitely think a big popular female icon like Tifa goes beyond gaming at this point. She is known in multiple places. I feel like you just can't go wrong with Tifa Lockhart, the GOAT. The dream has soared past with Smash Brothers unless we get a new Smash Bros in the future, which I feel like we are going to get one anyway, but that's going to be a whole different discussion for a different day. However, I really think Tifa should just be in this game, man. How do you guys feel? Do you want to see Tifa in Tekken 8? Uh, who hates Tifa? Like, I don't know why would you even hate Tifa. Regardless, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe, man. Go ahead and the subscribe button and leave a comment. It helps. Tell me, what is your most wanted, most requested guest character for Tekken? I don't care if it's outfield or left field, it's Bandai Namco. They could probably put Naruto in there. Lars was also in Naruto Storm. They could do that if they want to. I believe in this company. If they really wanted to do something, they could do it. Join the Discord in the description down below. You already know. It's your boy Avatar Yaya. You guys are golden. And that is Raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out. Oh, that's it. I've been a devil, I need me a hawk in the water. My breathing, I feel well like time's roll. Hey. Walking this bitch with a sound box, I wanna let you rock it. I keep me your domino. Hey. Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a zaki. Stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates. I'm stashing the soul, I fight out of a body. Fire, I'm spitting, I feel well like Dobby. White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy. She from Kyoshi, I paint her face suit.